I'm here with Joe and Philip from Icing on the Cake. We're at the Sheraton in Grand for the Triple X Bridal Show, and we're going to talk about cake. When did you create Icing on the Cake? Icing on the Cake we created it about a year ago. Um, before that, I'm, I've got 26 years of experience as a pastry chef. Phil's got I was 20. I started 89, as a matter of fact. Oh, same year I started. Yeah. So it's all, it's all good. The very finest ingredients make the very finest cakes, generally. And that's what we found. In, and so we use it, and that comes out in the flavor of our cakes and everything we do with them. It's just you got to have the finest ingredients. Fresh eggs, butter. We don't use margarine in anything. Um, we use really expensive chocolate and, and cocoa in the cakes. Um, heavy cream. We just we don't cut corners on the ingredients that go into the cakes. There's no, no need to. No. If the lucky brides only get married once, yes. so we want it to be the best that it can be for that day. Yeah. What kind, I tell what all the brides. Warning. Can you thank you. Well, actually, brides. I tell all the brides the same thing. It's their day. It's not their mother's day. It's not their grandmother's day. They need to pick a, a cake they want. You know, don't try and please everybody that's coming to the wedding because you're not going to do it. Go find out, make it look the way you want, make it taste the way you want. It's your day. Hey, sorry, Mom. I totally agree. It's the bride's day, and I tell her. Absolutely. The, the nice thing about having me is that when Mom says, you need to do so-and-so, she can turn around and say, oh, but Rich is that. Yeah. I found that a lot of grooms like to get involved now, much more than they did in the past. Not when I was here got married. No, no, not when I got married either. No. But Next time we had a case. I showed up. <laughs> We just set up for the other um, two weekends ago. It was just the opposite. The groom had an opinion. The bride was like, I don't care. Yeah. Just pick a cake. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> now, do you also do groom's cakes? We do. Okay, and what, shower cakes. what kind of cakes would you do for groom's cakes? What's the most outrageous cake you've ever made? Uh, I did a dissected rat for a biologist. <laughs> I don't know. The, the Halloween one we did was pretty. Yeah, the Halloween one was really that was, awesome. Yeah, that, oh, we should have eyeballs that. coming out of the cake. Oh and, no! And it was just. It was yeah. a crime scene. It had the, the yellow tape with the yeah. do not cross and it, on a wooden floor, and it had body parts. Oh yeah. It was, it was, it was so <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Most bizarre wedding cake was a swamp. They were both marine biologists, and they had a pool party, and they wanted a swamp. And it had cat and the, the cattails, and it had frogs and salamanders and dragonflies and oh, water lilies and the whole thing. Exquisite, yeah. wonderful. We'll do anything the bride wants. Yeah, absolutely. Great. My first question is, what do you want? Uh, are you serving as dessert? Because oh. it really matters. You know, some some brides they just want to do the bride cuts the cake, and they've already picked out a dessert. Some of them are serving this dessert, and if you're serving this dessert, we can do anything. We can do tiramisu as your wedding cake. And what we do in that case is the cake, most of the cake is fake. The bottom layer is real so that you can do bribe cuts the cake. The cake gets wheeled into the kitchen anyways to get cut. Right. The sheets of tiramisu in the kitchen, they cut it up, they serve it as dessert, no one no is the wiser. Wiser. That's a great trick. And the caterers love it because it gives them time to actually cut the cake instead of rushing the cake into the, into the kitchen and having 15 minutes to get it on plates and get it back out again. And I've, I've cut many a cake. It's well, not easy, to, especially round ones are not as easy to cut as the No, they're not. It's like, <laughs> and then you go. Yeah. I don't want to horrify the brides with the funny experience. Yeah, you do. <laughs> In 26 years, I've had one problem with the cake, and it literally exploded when we pulled out to deliver it. We had told the bride she wanted a strawberry shortcake as, the, as her wedding cake in July. And so fresh pastry cream, whipped cream, and strawberries inside the cake, and we told her, I'm don't think it's going to hold up. And I kept trying to get her to go with the cakes in the kitchen and do fake, and she didn't want to do that. She wanted a strawberry shortcake. So we did the strawberry shortcake, and we pulled up to the to the church, and it literally exploded in the back of the car. There wasn't a piece big enough to serve. So, and I'm standing in the back, and I'm having a, a meltdown. I'm like, I can't fix this, but only yeah, but very loudly. Loud. Yeah, only very loudly, I'm saying I can't fix this. When my sister, who happened to be the one helping me to deliver it, actually hit me. She's like, I've always wanted to do that and calm somebody down. <laughs> yeah. So what we did is we told, we went in, I talked to the bride, I said, look, you know, I'll be back, because we were, we usually deliver about two hours before. So that I said, I'll be back in two hours, you'll have your cake, don't worry. When we ran back to the bakery, I took all of the pans, I flipped them upside down, I stacked them, I frosted them, I decorated them, brought them back, I said, look, you can't do bride cuts the cake. 
You can do everything else, just don't cut the cake. Let's get a chainsaw. <laughs> Meanwhile, we had cheat cakes in the oven. We rebaked them, we filled them, we got them back in time for dinner. They served. The bride was the only one that knew that the cake wasn't real that day. And to this day, she talks about you. It was the funniest thing to her. I thought she was going to be hysterical. She just thought it was the funniest thing. And actually, a year later, they got divorced. She said it was it was a sign. But things happen. You just need, need to make it right. Happen. That's right. And my, my wedding cake story is um, I, was, I was doing a wedding in California. The bride and groom were here, and his family was out there, so they took me with them. And she was specific that she did not want a hat box cake. And the facility kept saying, this is the trend and you need a hat box cake. Well, guess what? I get to the facility and they've got a hat box cake. And I said, no, it has to be tiered. It has to be stacked. Well, we can't do that. It's too late. I said, you want a bet? And I go over there and I start, you know, and said, no, no, no. She said, they took it in the back. They recreated it. And she never knew. Yeah. Actually, one of the first questions I ask is, if something goes wrong, what is the one thing that would really, really undo you? Sometimes it's nothing, and sometimes it's it's really important, and that's what I concentrate on. I had a band not show up once, and they wouldn't come out to their reception what? because the band wasn't there. So wow. you got to find out what it is that 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 tweaks. It's going to send them over the edge. What's going to send them over the edge? I mean, we got within an hour. I had musicians in there, but it wasn't the band they wanted. The car got stuck. So if we have a band coming in from out of town, they have to have two vehicles. Absolutely. Absolutely, you have to have two. You have to be there. You yeah. can't get stuck. No. We give no. suggestions, and sometimes our suggestions are a little stronger than other ones because they really need to be done that way. And if not, you're gonna have a catastrophe, and no one wants that on their wedding day. Well, people don't understand that a wedding cake is it's it's a engineering feat. It's structural. It's not just a cake. You can't just stack 150 pounds of cake on top of itself. No. Doesn't that work? Up. Yeah. Right. You know, there's all kinds of structure inside it and everything else, and you know, we have to deal with weather. We have to. You know, if it's going to be 100 degrees out, you can't put buttercream on a cake. It's not going to stay there. No words, it's not going to happen. We have ways to stabilize the buttercream in case it gets that hot, but it, we have to be able to have yeah, some leeway to, to, to work with Make that. our suggestions and hopefully they take them and say, oh, well, you're right. Yeah.